Welcome to Yoga Download. I'm Kristen Bach, and this is my friend Sarah and my friend Marsha. And we're so glad that you're here to join us for Let's Unite, a quick and awesome flow. Uh, we'll begin standing. Feet touch. If you like feet wide, I'm okay with that. And the hands touch at heart center. Allow your eyelids to grow heavy, or at least your gaze to fall over the tip of your middle fingers. Take an exhale. Before we begin to move, which we'll do plenty of for a short class, I would just like to share that when I practice, often I uh, practice at 5.30 p.m. here in Central Mountain Time, and, and I consider like that it might be 6 a.m. on the other side of the world where people wake up and practice, and how many people in that moment, in that breath, are practicing the same movement that I am. Anytime I feel alone, I try to remember this. With that in mind, exhale and relax your arms down beside you. We unite our energy with one another. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up, press your feet down. Exhale, fold fully forward. Take a generous bend in the knees, bring your hands to the earth. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen your spine, look forward of your toes. Exhale, high plank, plant your hands and step or jump back. Take an inhale, find your tiptoes, shift your weight forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, inhale, cobra, use your strong legs to lift your heart. Exhale, lower back down, tuck your toes and inhale, rise, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah, feel free to use your knees. Inhale, shift your gaze forward, rise onto your tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees and travel to the top of your mat, toes touch. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold fully forward, drop your head. Inhale, mountain pose, strong legs, strong core, take you up, arms up. Stay standing, exhale, palms come together at heart center, bow head to heart. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up again, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold fully forward. Inhale, lift halfway, draw your navel in, make your spine long. Exhale, high plank and lower all the way down to the earth. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Lift your heart, broaden through the collarbones. Exhale, bring it back down. Tuck your toes and inhale, lift, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, head falls heavy. Three more, inhale, tiptoes, Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, bend your knees and travel, top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen, shoulder blades in. Exhale, fold, touch the earth, drop your head. Inhale, mountain pose, rise all the way up, palms toward each other. Stay standing, exhale, palms touch at heart center, bow head to heart. To this intention, inhale, reach, mountain pose. Exhale, fold fully forward, find the floor, bend the knees, touch the earth. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen, bottom ribs in. Exhale, high plank and lower to the earth. You can use your knees on the way down. Inhale, cobra, pose, draw the shoulder blades back, elbows back. Exhale, bring it back down to the floor. Tuck your toes and inhale, lift, high plank, look forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, drop the head, look between the feet. Two more, inhale, lift onto the tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees and travel light. Try a hop, top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway, fingers can rise to your shins. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, mountain pose all the way up. There you go, look up. Stay standing, exhale, palms together at heart center. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up, navel in. Exhale, fold fully forward, bend the knees. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, high plank, lower all the way down to the earth. Inhale, cobra pose, press your pinky toenails down and wide. 
Exhale, bring it back to the floor. Inhale, high plank, come on back up, navel in, spine long. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time before the change, inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, empty, bend the knees and travel, top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, fold fully forward. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up, palms face each other. Exhale, hands together at heart center, bow head to your heart. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose, bend your knees, hips heavy, heart light. Stay, shift the weight into your heels, inner ankle bones, move back and down, yeah. Hug the navel into the spine, inhale, reach fingertips away from tailbone. Exhale, fold fully forward, belly to thighs, hands to the earth. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen tailbone away from the crown of the head. Exhale, chaturanga from high plank, lower halfway only. Inhale, upward facing dog. You can always take cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time through, inhale, lift your right leg up and back, spread your right toes. Exhale, low lunge, bring your foot to your right thumbnail. Back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Reach both arms up, Vira Bhadrasana. A, a wider, shorter stance can help make this pose more accessible. Yeah. To right knee be over your right ankle, pull your outer right hip back. Take an inhale, reach up. Notice how challenging it is for you. It's probably that way for everyone. Exhale, chaturanga, dandasana. Unite over your misery if necessary. Inhale, upward facing dog. Draw the crown of your head toward the ceiling. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take the left side. Lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Bring your foot to your left thumbnail, right heel to the earth. Inhale, warrior one, both arms reach up. And then find your feet, the inner edge of your left foot, the pinky toe side of your right foot. Scissor the inner thighs toward one another. Draw them in. This will bring the outer right hip forward. Take an inhale, like you're celebrating the heart space through this pose. Exhale, chaturanga, take it low. Look forward as you lower. Inhale, upward, facing dog. Use your pointer fingers a little more. Exhale, downward, facing dog. We'll do that a few times. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward and travel top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, fold fully forward. Listen, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, standing, hands to heart center. Straighten the legs, palms to heart. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, I know. Exhale, fold fully forward, Utanasana. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Travel back, but look forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Use your legs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg for this vinyasa up and back. Exhale, low lunge, foot to your right thumb, left heel to earth. Inhale, warrior one, don't miss it. Arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, chaturanga, dandasana. Elbows are close to the rib cage. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up and back. Exhale, draw the foot through, low lunge, foot to thumb. Inhale, warrior one, right heel roots, arms reach. Exhale, chaturanga, dandasana. Don't be in a hurry unless you're always in a hurry. Inhale, upward facing, use your legs, pinky toenails down. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do it again, inhale, tiptoes, we'll cut out all the BS. Exhale, bend your knees and travel, top of your mat. Chair pose right away, inhale. Exhale, mountain hands to heart center, straighten your legs. Again, inhale, chair pose, don't miss it, hips heavy. Exhale, fold fully forward, touch the earth. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. 
Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing. Listen, right foot forward, left heel down. Warrior one, reach up. Don't miss it, come on. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Take it back, use your knees if you need. Inhale, upward facing, yes you can. Exhale, downward facing, here it is. Left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale, warrior one, come on. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Elbows in, shoulders on the back. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just one more time, tiptoes, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and travel, top of your mat. Chair pose, inhale, squeeze the knees. Exhale, mountain, hands to heart center. Inhale, chair pose, squeeze the knees, hug the navel in. Exhale, fold fully, forward, touch the earth. Inhale, lift halfway, Ardha, Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga, Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Nice hop back if you can. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, left heel down. Inhale, Vira Bhadrasana A, reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Shoot right heel back and lower. Inhale, upward facing, thighs lift. Exhale, downward facing, left foot forward, right heel down. Warrior one, rise, reach, here it is. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Set your gaze, five breaths. I said earlier, like to unite over your, I don't know, discomfort or something. And it's true that misery loves company but it's also true that we think we suffer alone, <laughs> that what is hard for us is easy for everyone else. Finish this exhale, empty completely, and then shift forward, high plank position. Keep the gaze forward and exhale, lower all the way down. Untuck your toes, zip your legs up like a long snake tail, hands stay beneath the armpits. And then inhale, cobra, rise up. Draw your collarbones forward. Feel your legs so strong that your kneecaps lift. You got it, you can use the fingertips for balance, but use mostly back strength for three. You got it, come on. Two, take an inhale. Exhale, bring it down to the earth. Look to the right, left ear to the mat, arms long. Feeling alone, loneliness is one of the greatest causes of suffering that I've ever experienced. And whether it is that I take the time to think about the number of people, like in full prostration right now across the world, or the number of people who feel overwhelmed stressed out, frustrated, joy-filled, excited, alive. Erase the notion that you're doing this by yourself. Chin forward, interlace the fingers behind your back for locust. Zip the legs up once again, or at least bring the legs so that the feet are hips distance. Exhale, prepare, root down. Inhale, lift up. Draw your fist towards your feet. Lift your feet from the earth. Straighten your legs as much as you're able. Tuck the chin in so that the back of the neck is as long as the front of the neck. Yeah, for three. Come on, two. Breathe with me, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Look the other direction. I've had just enough of the Kool-Aid to think that yogis might actually change the world. And that's sort of funny, and at the same time, it's not funny to me. 
I believe that people, not just who are practicing downward facing dog or can do 20 chaturangas in just under 12 minutes, like that their triceps are gonna be revolutionary or something, but like that the mentality of folks who want to soften their heart and strengthen their intention are probably the ones that are about to make the greatest difference. And as soft as my heart and as strong as my intention is in some moments, I often need you to remind me that we're in it together. Take one more breath. Feel the earth rise up to meet you like everybody on the earth is here with you in this breath. And then bring your chin forward, bend your knees, don your asana, bow pulling pose, bend your knees and take your hands back for your feet. I like the pinky toe sides of the foot, but if you like another grip, I'm down with that. Bring your knees back to hips distance, ground into the earth first and from that supportive place, inhale, kick the shins back and lift your heart up. Spread your toes. Soften your jaw and your tongue and let your heart move forward for three. That's it. Come on, stay with it. Two. Find a little more in you to lift, to rise. And then exhale, set it down and roll onto your back. Flip it over, sunny side. Call this one roadkill. So like whatever feels good or like however you arrive, just like take three breaths like that. Yeah, if the body like really needs to do like full roadkill asana, I'm pretty sure there's someone or something in the world sharing that with you as well. Hopefully not literal roadkill. Yeah. And with a supportive core, Draw your knees in. Take figure four on the right side, right ankle over left knee. Hands come behind the left leg. If you can interlace the fingers, great. If not, just take hold of what's available. Spread the toes on your right foot and reach your outer right knee forward. Yeah. Keep your figure four, put your left heel on the floor, extend your right leg up and take the hands behind your right leg, hamstring stretch. Take hold of as high on the leg as is available for you without force. If that means that you can grab behind the calf but the knee is bent, that's okay. Reach the heel away from the groins and see if you can anchor outer right hip towards your left big toe. I know. Then pull with the strength of your arms, the strength of your heart, and press your leg back into your fingers. Keep your left foot as it is, half happy baby. Bend your right knee and reach up for the pinky toe side of your right foot. You can hold the right ankle or behind your right knee. I like to extend the left leg once I've got hold of my right foot. When I extend the left leg, it doesn't go to Shavasana. The toes point up, they draw toward the face and the inner left thigh softens toward the earth. Press your right foot into your fingers. Take one more breath. And then release the grip around the foot. Take it around your right shin and twist. Draw your right knee across your body. Extend your right arm out to the right. Like in this moment, there's someone beyond you and beyond me who is reaching for support. Support behind their right shoulder blade, maybe. Support in their life, probably. Take an exhale, empty first. 
Then with the belly in, bring the right knee back to center. Give it a squeeze. Draw the left knee in to meet the right. Figure four, second side, left ankle over your right knee. Take hold behind the right leg. Spread the toes on your left foot. Yeah, you can kick me. If you got somebody to kick at home, kick them, but not to hurt them, but like if they're gonna help you with the pose. <laughs> Outer left knee forward. I had a friend, a teacher say to me recently that like when you can laugh about it, you started to learn from it. So let yourself laugh now and then. Take one more. And then the right foot finds the floor. Left heel lifts high, hamstring stretch, hands behind your left leg. Just anywhere you can take hold. Spread the toes on your left foot. Anchor the outer left hip down, the inner left heel up. And if Cirque du Soleil knocked on your front door right now, they'd want to see your big toe touch your forehead first. <laughs> Anybody? We're still working on it here. One more breath, like you're combing the hamstrings with it. Send it all the way into the lower leg, the upper leg. And then half happy baby, bend your left knee out wide of your left ribs, place your hand around what's accessible on the left leg and extend your right leg long onto the mat. Spread the toes on your right foot, anchor your inner right thigh to the floor. Mm, that's so good. Then press your foot into your fingers. If we could remember that there was someone who wanted to share in a sun salutation A with us, someone who would listen to a challenge we would face or a goal that we just set, take one more breath, bend your left knee, exhale, twist. The knee across the body, extend your left arm out to the left. Is there almost immediate comfort in knowing that you are not in this alone? There is for me, or at least often there is for me. Take one more breath. And left knee lifts to chest. Give it a squeeze on its own. Invite the right knee in to meet it. You got it. Bring your arms around your shins. Lift your forehead to your knees. Then exhale, quick, sweet Shavasana. Extend your legs long and turn your palms up. Can you, for 60 seconds, practice being?
Invite a wiggle to your fingers and some movement to your toes. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. Shake your head gently side to side. Then reach the arms up, extend the toes away from fingertips, breathe in. Open your mouth and breathe out. Draw your knees in close and roll on to your right side. Let your left hand rest on the earth in front of your heart. And as you arrive here, consider some being in your life, someone who you care about who seems far away. And sometimes people who are right beside me seem worlds away. So choose one being and offer this practice of uniting over to them so that we all get a little closer to one another. And then please rise, come to seated. Let your eyelids remain heavy, cross your legs in front of you, bring your palms together at heart center. It is said that in the syllable om, is every being who ever existed's name. And it says my name. And in Om is Sarah and Marsha and your name, the people who came before you who laid this path. And so we'll seal practice with a single Om, a single call out to come together. Take an exhale, empty out completely. <sighs> Breathe in, fill up. Om. Bow your head to your heart, to your own light. May we never forget it. Inhale, bring your thumbs to your forehead. Exhale, bow forward, seal it in and say, Namaste.